Hi, this is a quick and simple video to show you how to program your Genesis Platinum for its optimum performance. Now we do calibrate every single machine before we ship it to you, so normally you don't have to go into your mode and make any changes. But we know how customers can sometimes be curious and go into the mode and do some things, and then they call us and ask us, uh, how do I get back to the best settings for, my, for our machine? So here you go. These are the best settings for the, for the Genesis Platinum. So to go into your mode, you want to press the mode button for 10 seconds. I am now in the mode. The very first thing it's asking is whether I want the light on the screen to be off or on all the time. Well, I only like it on when I'm pushing the buttons, so we're going to leave that to off. So I press the mode again. Next thing it's asking is the direction of your water. You don't need to worry about this, so let's just skip it. The next thing it's asking is about the sound level. Its default is two bars, which is a pretty good level. You can go up higher using the plus button or you can go lower using the minus button. Now your plus button's on the right there and your minus button's on the left. So if I want it lower, I just press the minus button, higher, plus button. Next one. Now this is the most important level. This is like the default ionization level of your machine. It is, ranges from a 6.5 to an 8. So 6.5 is your weakest, 8.0 is your strongest. Right now I have my, my machine set up to 8.0 because I have well water and I need the extra power to compensate for the lack of minerals in my water. But if I were living somewhere with a lot of minerals in the water, say maybe North Carolina, I would want that number somewhere around 7.0. And for those that are in between, say Sacramento, California, as an example, I would go with 7.5. Now again, we set these machines based on where you live. So you don't actually have to go in and change this. Your machine has already been set. We've been in the ionizer business for seven years. So we know what levels to set our machines at for what water you have. So if you're down in Houston, we've turned it up to 8.0. If you're up in Washington State, we've turned it down to 7.0. So we have the machine set to where it should be. So you don't have to mess with this. But let's say, for example, you wanted to make your machine as strong as it possibly could be just because you're a person that really likes strong alkaline water. So let's put it up on 8.0. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the set button because I've made some changes here. Whenever you make a, a, some changes to some area in the mode, you're going to want, to want to press your set button to save those changes. Don't go on to the next thing and make changes because then the previous thing you made changes on won't be saved. So this is going to save those changes by pressing the set button, which is right next to the mode. Now I'm going to go back into the mode, press it for 10 seconds, and we're going to scroll on past everything we just did. See it's at 8.0. That is the warning for your cleaning that has to do with this number here that's being displayed as, as 30 liters. Right now the machine is set to warn you to change your filter at 30 liters. If I wanted to, I could change that higher or lower using the plus and minus buttons. But really, 30 liters is usually enough time for you to get the message to change your filter, give us a call, or place the order online to reorder your filters. So don't really have to mess with that one either. Next one. This is the 76 different levels of pH that the Genesis Platinum offers. This is the where you can really go in and fine-tune the ionization beyond that 6.5 to 8.0 level that we changed before. So we are the guy who wants the strongest alkaline water, so we're setting the machine for the strongest settings. And 76 
on the number four level is the strongest level. So if I wanted to go weaker, I can go all the way down to 58 on the number four alkaline setting. If I want to go stronger, let's press the plus button. And that is now set to 76. In this setting with the mode, I can also adjust the number three alkaline setting and make that weaker. Right now it's set on the strongest level, which is 57. It can go all the way down to 39 and back up to 57. I can also adjust the number two alkaline. Right now 38 is its strongest level. I can go down to 20 and I can go back up to 38. You get 19 different levels on each of the four alkaline settings. And number one is set to 19 as its top. And go down to zero and back up to 19. So now when I scroll through, we've got 76, 57, 38, and 19. So I hit the set button. And the third step is to go back into the mode. Scroll on past everything that we've just done. And now we are in the ORP mode. The maximum level for the number four alkaline is minus 450. I can drop that down to 370 or back up to 450. The alkaline three, the top is minus 360. Number two, the top is minus 270. And number one, the top is minus 180. So right now the machine is set to its maximum settings. So if you, we usually do this for you depending on where you live. Sometimes these are a little bit less sometimes uh, because uh, you have a lot of minerals in your water and we don't need to set it up as high. But usually we keep these ORP settings up on their higher levels. So again, you don't have to go in and make any changes. Your machine is already set up to work at its optimum level. So I press the mode again and we are back to stage one. So that's it. Any changes you make, hit the set button. The maximum levels I showed you how to get. If you have any questions where you've made any changes to your machine, you're not sure what level it should be at, the best level is the 7.5 level on the first one that we edited, and then everything else on its maximum settings. That is the average user's best setting for getting the best water. If you live somewhere with more challenging water, you can put it up on 8.0. If you live somewhere where you know the water is just really good to start with, like Hawaii or North Carolina or South Carolina, Washington State or Virginia, then you don't have to go up that high. You can put it at 7.0. So just kind of, if you have any questions, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll tell you whether you should be 7.0, 7.5, or 8.0. And that is it.